Hey, welcome back internet people. I'm gonna take advantage of the fantastic snowfall we've got out here today. I'm gonna practice some backcountry skills with my lovely assistant over here. We're gonna do some snowshoeing and some skiing just to show you guys a little bit of variety and some backcountry methods and we're gonna practice a couple other backcountry skills while we're out there. So come on and join us. All right, so we're looking around for a place to build a little shelter. Right now it's a gorgeous day, there's zero wind, but uh, wind is prevalent out of the west, which is that direction, nine times out of 10 around here. And uh, something like this could be a pretty nice little shelter. You wanna try and use nature to save some of your work whenever possible. So building up against a down tree log is, uh, is a really good way to go. But I think uh, for demonstration purposes, we might get a little bit more up into a protected area, even though we're, we're pretty safe today. We're gonna look for something a little bit more naturally out of the wind, which is probably gonna be somewhere right up into tree line over here. Whee! <laughs> there he is. That's fun. We're gonna get a little shelter set up here. Boil a little bit of water. We'll boil some snow and make it water. <laughs> yeah, the snow's a little deep. Just a little. <laughs> a little bit. open oh no oh no ah. <laughs> oh zipper discipline fail oh no snow in the pants <laughs> it was so warm walking up here had my vents open <laughs> they're open for too long open for too long this is really nice lighting Shovel. Start doing a little bit. I'll help him. I have a way around here. Keep myself warm. I'm still warm right now, but all that sweat's gonna start to get cold on me here pretty soon. Yeah, it's got add another layer. It's gonna turn to ice. <laughs> A little extra dry too as I dig in the snow. Because face it, even if you're growing up, half the fun of doing this stuff is digging in the snow. <laughs> I'm wonder if I can get the camera propped up. Let's see. Huh? Maybe you can get it propped. Boom. Propped. Boom. It's another good thing about deep snow. Good camera angles. Let me. There we go, that's good. Alright. Got my trusty metal backcountry snow shovel here. And you want to get in here? I think I'll take off my shoes at some point. Okay. Probably be 
be a lot easier. Well, let's, uh, yeah, it's going to be easier with your snowshoes on, trust me. Take a minute until I get a little platform dug in here for us. All right. Hey, we're going to dig out some space in here. Might break off a couple of these branches. Build up a nice wall with that snow. As you can see, I'm using this log here to make us a little bit of a, of a natural barrier for wind. lighting is so so good I can't get over how good this lighting is. Huh? This lighting is so nice. nice. Mm, nice. One trick when you're doing this stuff is never leave anything out in the snow because if you drop something it's gone. You better remember where it is for summer to come back and get it. <laughs> Always make sure you always zip everything up, put all your stuff back away. I just got an old poncho here. Well, it's not too old, but it's oldish. All right, and just gonna seal this up. If there was bad weather, this would be more important to seal up the hole in the middle of the poncho or else you'd have a nice big chimney vent in the middle of your shelter. Sometimes that could be okay if you got a fire inside. But that's not our goal right now. Mm -hmm. Just stay warm and cozy. Protected. Huh? Just to stay protected. We got some 550 cord. I'm just gonna cut a few lengths of this. A couple pieces to tie off the ends. All right, I'll put this back in the sheath so I don't drop it. Here for later. I'm use that. Just going through the corner grommets here. Tying off a little fisherman's on the end. I'm just going to go right around this log. Back to itself.
wouldn't trust this to hold overnight, but for right now, it's going to do well enough. Come join me inside. It's a nice little bench here. Film. Okay. Set up. Now we're going to boil some snow. Is that good? Yeah, I think that's good. Or whatever it's called. Okay. okay, now, if we were going to turn this into an overnight, say a storm moved in, it got dark on us, um, what I would do is uh, I'd actually drop this end down because when you're on a hill, you want to have the the uphill side sealed off and the downhill side open because heat rises and cold air descends. So you want to be up in the highest point of the shelter and let the cold air be somewhere down lower than you. So what I would do is I'm going to close this area off and give myself a little bit of extra space to, uh, to lay out a sleeping bag in here. Let me get rid of my house plants real quick. House plants. Get those in there. And then I'd make myself flat space to put a sleeping bag right across here. That's one way to lower it. <laughs> okay. Next bit. Bivy bag. Sleeping bag. Is this extra bag like an insulator kind of? What's that? Is it like an insulator for the sleeping bag? Yes, and it's like a waterproofer as well. Mm. It's basically like a miniature tent. But it's just big enough for your sleeping bag. <laughs> sleeping tent. off for a minute. Put dry hands inside there. Straighten this all out. It's pretty cool. One of the neat properties about having a down bag 
as long as you can keep it dry, it's fantastic because it compresses really, really far. But then it also will expand once you let it out of its compression. So the longer I let this sit and loft, the more the feathers will fluff itself up and it'll get thicker and warmer. If I was to jump in right now, it wouldn't be as warm as it would be probably in an hour or so after I've given it a chance to, to open itself up. So I'm going to close this back over to keep it dry in there for right now. I can zip it without catching it on everything. <laughs> Got that. I've also got this insulating sleeping pad. If I had the time and inclination, I might run around and cut some fresh pine branches, and lay them down across the bottom to give a little insulation up against the snow. But if you've got one of these guys, it's good enough. But the pine branches can make all the difference. I don't know if you've ever tried to use one of these inflatable mats in cold weather, but one thing you don't want to do when it's cold out is actually blow into it because the condensation from your breath going in is warm. It'll attach to the inside of the bag and then once it starts getting cold overnight that warm moist air the water droplets will freeze and water droplets frozen snowflakes are basically little tiny knives and they'll pop a hole right in your bag. So a lot of these winter things will come with an accessory sort of blow-up device and this one in particular this is a Thermarest. It's made for winter camping about the best insulation that you can get out of a blow-up sleeping mat. So what this is here is I'm going to put the, the valve onto there and it makes a nice little seal up inside here. You can see that. There we go. So that's attached on there. Now what I'm going to do to use this bag that it stores in as its inflation device. We can move all this air out of this bag right into the mattress. It saves you from getting lightheaded and out of breath. And it also saves your air mattress from freezing from condensation because you don't have a, the warm air from your breath. A little bit I'm using to fill it up is hardly anything. There it is. Cold weather sleep system. You'd be surprised how toasty warm you stay. Okay, so yeah, just to go overnight, I'd go really simple. Just do this, use some of the snow over the edge of the tarp to hold it down in place.
Boom, from there. And I would just poke a little hole out on the bottom side and climb in. It'll be tight, but you want a tight spot because big spaces are expensive to heat with body heat. So the smaller the space, the better off you are. And I'd probably spend a little bit more time filling up all these little gaps up around the corners over here like you can still see through. But essentially, this would be home for a night. It's not much, but uh, all you gotta do is survive. So uh, there it is. Quick emergency shelter, get you through a night. Can't beat that.